The next supplication, which will be discussed is found in chapter 60, verse 5. Our Lord, make us not objects of torment for the disbelievers, and forgive us, our Lord. This verse reminds Muslims of an important point, that each person can become a test for others, and others are a test for them. For example, the poor are a test for the rich, meaning, will the rich remain grateful to Allah, the exalted, by using their wealth in the correct way, as prescribed by Islam. And the rich are a test for the poor, meaning, will the poor remain patient during their poverty, or turn to impatience when they observe the rich enjoying the pleasures of the world. Chapter 25, verse 20. And we have made some of you people as a trial for others. Will you have patience? A Muslim should avoid observing others from a worldly point of view, meaning, they should not observe those who possess more worldly things than them, and instead observe those who possess less than them, so that they remain grateful over whatever they possess. This has been advised in a narration found in Jami R. Tirmizi, number 2513. A Muslim in this respect should busy themselves with their religious and worldly duties, which if done correctly, will preoccupy them from observing those who possess more worldly things than them. In addition, it is important to understand that no matter what situation a person is in, it is best for them, even if they fail to observe how, as Allah, the Exalted, grants them the best thing, instead of granting them their desires, as this would most likely lead to their destruction. All a Muslim needs to do, is obey Allah, the Exalted, in every situation, which will ensure their passage test, and difficulty. For example, by showing patience in difficulty, and gratitude in times of ease. This has been advised in a narration, found in, Sahih Muslim, number 7500. When a Muslim trusts Allah, the Exalted, has granted them what is best for them, they will undoubtedly, overcome every test, especially, when they observe others, who seem to be in a better situation than them. In addition this supplication reminds Muslims, not to become a test, and trial for others, by mistreating them, nor should they fail their test, when others mistreat them. Instead they should treat everyone, according to the teachings of Islam, without any resentment, or negative feelings towards them. Every breath, step, and situation is a test a Muslim must overcome, by adhering to the teachings of Islam.